What's up everyone? It's your boy Scott. Welcome to the Scott Reports. Today I'm bringing you an anime review of Onihei, episode 1, live reaction. Um, let's just shoot straight from the hip on this series and I'll just go ahead and say it. This series is law and order with swords. I mean, that's the best way that I can describe it. I mean, seriously, I don't think this series is on anybody's radar anyway let alone if anybody's even heard about it because they did a bad job with promoting it or at least i feel they did i mean i didn't even know it was going to be on amazon prime until like last thursday or friday it was on like live chart and maybe anime chart but it didn't have that much details about what it was about overall and i don't know i mean after watching this episode i can see now that people are either going to hate on it or people are going to shit on it because Again, I'll go back to what I said. It's Law and Order with Swords. And given by the reception that Joker Game got from the anime community last spring, I kind of see the same thing happening with Onihei. If anybody's even bothering to look out for it. I mean, I didn't even know it was based off of a popular Japan drama until now. So the details on it was very vague, which had people already a little leery to look at it to begin with. And then... I don't know how to really put this without putting it in a negative way or making it seem like I'm trying to be negative toward like YouTube reviewers or anybody that's going to pick this up. I guess the best way or what I'm trying to say is it depends on where you are in life if you're going to like this series or not. Well, gee, that didn't sound too much better either, but it's just one of those things. I mean, people don't watch anime for realism, and that's definitely what you get with this series. I mean, it takes place in the Edo period, and back then, you know, they handed down justice with swords i mean they didn't use guns back then they used swords and it just has a detective feel overall it's a detective drama animated drama type of series and i can't stress it enough i mean the best way i can describe it is law and order with swords so if you like law and order if you want to kick back and watch that type of series then that's what onihe is going to do for you and again overall this is like a wind down kind of chill out type of series or what i call like a sunday anime i know i'm a little bit weird but what i mean by that is this is a type of anime i would watch like on sunday when i watch the super serious stuff like you know psycho pass go go 13 ghost and shield you know a type of thing that i watch before i log out for the night or cut off the ps4 just kick back and just watch something that's enthralling. It's just like a crime drama. This is exactly what this series is. And even though it does take place in the Edo period back where they were still samurais and people walking around with swords instead of guns, because that's what the cops had. If you're looking for this to be the next Roroni Kenshin, well, you're setting your expectations a little bit too high for this series. But it, again, it depends on what you're looking for, if you're going to enjoy it or not. I mean, overall, I liked it. I'm going to give it a three episode test, but I can see how the slow burn or the feel of this series overall could probably turn some people off so we'll just have to go with it and see where it goes from there so this series only hey basically is about a man by the name of hazel and he is the head of the theft and arson team and basically this team consists of a whole bunch of former criminals because you know to protect the sheep you must become the wolf i mean that's always a good story to begin with but he's a very interesting character because and it's kind of hard basically because it's like the last thing that we've seen it's kind of hard not to compare it to joker game because we start off this episode first and foremost with a prisoner getting pretty much torture i mean they tortured the hell out of him that scene was pretty brutal and basically what this team is trying to do and what hazel is trying to do is actually find an uh, arsonist this is guys going around doing all these heinous crimes they're torturing this guy to find information but he ends up helping the um, theft and arson group because he said that these crimes is going around, you know, these people are getting raped, these people are getting pillaged, houses getting burned down. It's like, I was a part of this group before I went off on my own and that type of thing wasn't what my master who used to be the head of this people or still were the head, he wasn't down with that type of thing. So allow me to go out there and find out what's going on. Allow me to go out to get to the bottom of this for you. So Hazel decides to let him go ahead and do that, which was interesting because it kind of shifted from Hazel to this um, other character who goes into the town interrogating to find this man that he feels is an imposter. You feel that the person behind these crimes are not the type of people that he went with or aligned with and not the type of thing that this person would go for, or so we think. So right off the bat, we get a very brutal torture scene, and I will say that the 
the scene that we got when they just found, found the headquarters of the thugs and they raided the sword fight in the scene that we got there was really good. I mean, I really liked it. It shows that Hazo is a beast. He went in there and cleaned up shop. And the opening itself, I have to commend the opening as well because it has a really jazzy type of opening. I mean, it feels like I was just watching a crime drama. That's exactly how it is. It's like it was an old detective jazzy type of theme that we got. And that was like kind of the OST for a story as well. It just had like a real jazzy type noir type of tone and kind of push you into that era gets you to sit back and watch a crime being solved and overall it, there are some things that are desired like the animation for example was a little bit bad I mean it's definitely not the best but the theme was good the action was good when we finally did get it but I can't stress enough that it's just going to depend on your taste in anime if you're going to dig this or not because it's definitely a required taste and when it all was said and done after they found the criminal hunted him down, found out that it was the master all along. The criminal was offered a spot into the arson theft prevention team <laughs> or whatever they're called. I'm sorry, I forgot. And again, wow. Damn, this first episode was just like the first episode of Joker Game. Shit, yeah, the anime community is going to do shit on this series. But it, it was interesting enough for me to at least give it the three episode test and check it out. I mean, it definitely wasn't mind blowing. There's a lot there to be desired, and it has a lot of shortcomings as well. It seems like a majority of these episodes, if not all, once again, is probably going to be self contained. It's on Amazon Prime, and it's only going to be 13 episodes, so we just have to see where it goes from there. So, yeah, that was Oni Hate in a nutshell, guys. If you check this out, definitely let me know what you thought of this episode in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and drop it a like. And if you want to hear more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As there is not a shortage of content you guys indulge on on this channel. And as I always say, you guys can be anywhere on YouTube right now. But you chose to listen to me. I really appreciate that. So thanks for stopping by. On that note, it's your boy Scott signing out. See you soon.